The Orange Crush 20 clean channel breaks up like a classic Fender tube amp, and I'm gonna prove it to you. I want you to hear that you can have a super cool analog sound that breaks up for 150 bucks. Hey, I'm Derek at 5 Minute Music, and I have over 25 years experience playing the guitar, teaching students how to use their amps, teaching guitar, doing some live sound and some recording, and I can't wait to dig into this so that you can hear this. I can't wait. Let's go. Now the Orange Crush 20 is a 21 amp with an eight inch speaker. It's a voice of the world speaker. It sounds fantastic. And the fact that it has two channels means that it has a clean channel and what they call the dirty channel or a high gain channel. Well, what happens is when you go on the clean channel and you start to turn the volume up, it starts to break up. It starts to give you another kind of distortion. So you have a clean tone and then the clean tone that breaks up, more of a crunchy tone, then you can go to the high gain channel and experience with a wide range of higher gain tones there. So it's really cool that this amp does this. It's one of the things that I was really surprised about. To clarify, don't think of this amp as just a clean channel, flip a switch, and just a dirty channel. They really overlap. The clean channel is more clean, but can get some really good breakup and crunch, like the high gain dirty channel. And the dirty channel can get cleaner not quite as clean as a clean channel, but it can get cleaner, but then give that over the top high gain saturation that the clean channel can't. I hope that helps. Let's keep going. Now, what I want to do is I want to start out with a Fender Deluxe Reverb. This is a 1971 amp. And I want to put the clean tone really low on volume and I want to gradually play a chord progression and turn the volume up. So you can see how this tube amp breaks up. Then what I want to do is I want to start to do that on this amp right here and he let you hear that break up and then I have one extra little comparison at the end to give you as well. So here we go. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off with the Fender Deluxe Reverb on two, the volume's on two. So listen to this. Now I'm gonna turn it up to two and a half. You hear how it's starting to break up. And you also hear how there's not much room from two to 2.5. It goes softer to louder pretty quick. Now, here's three. Getting pretty loud. Here's four, here we go. Pretty cool, right? So it sounds fantastic. Well, guess what? The Orange Crush 20 does something similar. Check this out. So I'm gonna start with my volume on two on the Orange Crush 20. So I'll have the settings below, by the way, in the description section so you can see where I started. And on my guitar, I'm using the bridge pickup and I'm not adjusting, it's full volume, full tone, and on the bridge pickup. So I'm keeping my guitar the same. It's just the amps that I'm changing. So here we go. The Orange Crush 20, volume on two. Now, let's go up to three. One thing I think you'll notice really quick is that there's more leeway, there's more room on the orange amp. On the Fender, I went from two to two and a half to three and it was huge and getting kind of loud. On this one, two to three, there's more room there. It's not quite overbearing yet. And that's also why I'm not going into the higher gain settings like five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm not going up that high because I have neighbors around and I have to be careful. So that's why I'm not going fully saturated on the clean tones, just out of consideration. But I'm still giving you a good flavor, you know, three, four, five on what they sound like. So here's the next one, you ready? Now let's do four. Now we're gonna do five on the Orange Crush 20. Definitely getting rock and roll on that one, huh? Here is six on the Orange Crush 20 clean sound. And let's see if I can get away with seven. If you liked that, and if you like these comparisons, 
please click like and also subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be the first to know when I do more comparisons. But please hit that like button. It definitely lets me know that I'm giving you content you enjoy and I'll keep doing it. Now, I've got that other comparison I was gonna tell you about. So now for that comparison that I promised you. I'm gonna see if I can dial in on the clean channel some breakup that matches some of the lower gain settings on the dirty channel. So let's start off. Here's the clean channel on six. <laughs> Now I'm going to flip it to the dirty channel and I've dialed it in. I'll have the settings in the description section below and see if we've got it. So there you go. Both the clean and the dirty channel have some really cool analog breakup going on. This is a really cool amp. If you've heard this and you're thinking, man, that is a great sounding amp for 150 bucks. I first of all think it's an amazing value and if you think so too, down in the description section below where it says buy now, you can click on it and go to amazon.com. Now I'm going to put two links down there and I'll tell you why. This amp is normally $139 but that particular vendor has been out of stock. So below that I'm going to put a link where it's $159 and they've had it in stock. So if you want to get it right now, you can get it for $159. If you want to wait a little bit for the other vendor to have it, you can get it for $139. I highly recommend it. I am an Amazon affiliate and if you do purchase through that link, I do get a small commission at no extra charge to you and it's just one way I support my channel so I'd really appreciate it. Now if you like the way it sounded but you're not quite ready to buy yet and you're thinking I have questions about it, go in the comment section below and you'll see I pinned a comment that says question of the day. What else would you like to know about the Orange Crush 20? Drop me a comment, I'd love to respond. Now. If you want more videos on this, I've got it. If you'll click right there, there's a deep dive into the Orange Crush 20, the, some of the high gain settings as well. And if you're wondering how this amp stacks up against the Fender Champion 20, click right there. And as always, subscribe and hit the bell so you'll be the first to know when I come out with more reviews like this. So as always, thank you for your time. God bless. Have a great day. Bye.